we're going to be talking about what getting jacked has taught me about women. The first thing you have to understand is that women are biologically wanting a man that's a protector, wanting someone who's physically capable, wanting someone that looks like a man. This is back in caveman days. This is back in freaking a thousand, whatever, BC, all this stuff. They were looking for someone that was strong, someone who was capable, someone who was masculine, someone who can lead them, someone who can protect them. This sort of thinking hasn't changed. Yeah, we live in a modern society now. We're not obviously in the caveman days, but it's still nature. At the end of the day, it's still nature. When you are physically attractive, when you are physically masculine, when you have that physicality to you, that body to you, subconsciously, it's going to be working in a woman's mind because they can see that you're in shape. They can obviously see that you're masculine. They can obviously see that you're physically capable. You exude masculinity. Your body displays that you can protect, that you are someone who can lead. That's what getting jacked shows. It shows all this stuff. It shows that you're disciplined. It shows that you're someone who actually cares about themselves first and foremost so automatically off rip they're gonna have this working in their minds they're gonna have this jogging in their brains because that's just that's just nature that is just nature and now enough about you know nature and all these things <laughs> you are crazy to think that a woman doesn't like a guy with abs, a guy with muscle, a guy with a strong back, a guy that just feels tough, that feels rough, that looks the part. This is not rocket science. It's the same way how guys look at girls and we like when we see that nice physique, that hourglass physique, the legs, the body. It's not rocket science. This is just, we're just attracted to these things. In general, we are attracted to these things. I'm not talking about outliers. I'm not talking about that people, that 1% that, you know, that doesn't care and all this stuff. For the most part, we all care. We all care. We all care. Especially me, since I've gone through this whole journey, this whole transformation, even in relationships, this applies. The person you are with will look up to you even more. The person you are with will look up to you even more because they see you develop. They see you put in the work. They see you going hard. They see you getting jacked. They see you building the muscle. They see you. They see all of this. And you're dumb if they're, if they're not thinking that other women or other females aren't checking for you. It's, it's just what it is. Anyone who says, any woman that says, oh, I, I just, I want a guy with a dad bod or I just care about dad bods. <laughs> that's a complete lie that is a complete lie that is just a way of it's basically their way of coping to get someone that's it's someone who just doesn't care about themselves and it's someone who can easily be manipulated in some way or shape or form I'm not saying this always happens but i'm saying they care it's not <laughs> you don't have to be a rocket scientist scientists to know that women don't want a guy with a dad bod now i didn't say women want a guy that's a bodybuilder or a guy that's you know 300 pounds and all muscle i didn't say that they just want someone in shape someone who is just looks aesthetic someone who's physically just looks physically capable you don't have to be a bodybuilder you don't have to be you know you don't have to be any of that you just gotta look and be physically aesthetic attractive nice abs proportion some size to you some muscle to you in shape you care about your well-being you it's not you know what i mean it's not something crazy where you have to be this crazy jacked ron coleman you just have to get in shape and you shouldn't be getting in shape anyway just for female attraction a lot of you guys watch all these videos because you just want to hear people tell you what girls want or what women want <laughs> you should want this. You should want to be jacked. You should want to be physically in shape. Not just for women. And I know that's a huge part. But for you. 
for yourself and you should look at the other things as byproducts to getting in shape getting jacked getting physically attractive will lead to more opportunities will lead to better relationships not it doesn't even have to be boyfriend and girlfriend relationships i mean just relationship with people in general will lead to opportunities you wouldn't have been offered otherwise it it just leads and it leads to you getting more money it literally leads to finances how because you got to understand that when you're jacked when you're in shape when you're physically fit you physically take care of yourself people are going to trust you more they're going to subconsciously they're going to think you're someone who is responsible even if you aren't it's like people will say don't judge a book by its cover but we all judge books by the covers you're trying to find a book you're trying to find a book say i'm trying to look for a book that's about um find find uh money it's a book it's about money i'm trying to find something financial something about money book a has a big dollar bill on it and it's saying how to be financially successful book b is it, it shows an apple on it and it is it just says it doesn't say anything about money but the book's about money though which book do you think i'm going to open which book do you think i'm going to get obviously the first one because that's the that's the branding that's what it's showing and when it comes to you when you're physically fit when you're physically in shape when you're physically attractive when you have the muscle when you have this kind of demeanor what do you think you're showcasing what do you think you're exuding you're exuding discipline you're exuding masculinity you're exuding a strong figure someone who's trustworthy someone who can get things done that's what it shows even if you can't even if you aren't that disciplined or physically all this stuff that's what it shows so off that people are going to want to work with you they're going to give you more opportunities i have a thousand examples of this i've been through man i've been invited to photo shoots just based off how i look literally i've been offered jobs physical labor jobs at my job for me helping people doing favors physical stuff because they see that i'm in shape and they see that i'm jacked and don't even get me started on uh how crazy women get when you are like this it, it's insane at my job i get i'm damn near i'm out here blocking i'm out here dodging these um these chicks out here because it's people always think that guys are so thirsty which they are <laughs> which they are but women are just as thirsty that's the thing i would i would say majority of men are obviously more but there is a a wide range women are just as bad for example i've been literally people have been written, writing notes leaving notes of their numbers on my where i work at and and it's just a normal conversation i'm not doing anything but you see what how my clothes fit on my body you see how i look you see that i'm attractive and i can hold i can talk normally I, I, you see all these things so the attraction level just builds i've literally had women tell me i should become a male tripper they're like, why are you doing this? You should become a male tripper. You know you can get women. You know you can. Why aren't you doing that? I've had Dave tell me to literally, hey, you should make a OnlyFans. I'm never going to do anything like that. But I'm just saying they're just as thirsty. They'll literally throw themselves at you when you start getting in shape, when you start getting jacked, when you're physically fit. And you just start you just start leveling up because you got to understand, too. You It's not getting in shape and getting jacked is just the marketing the branding but you actually have to have charisma you actually have to have the ability to speak the ability to interact because i didn't know how to interact before i was socially awkward before with anyone i just didn't talk i got in i was in the gym crazy but i still didn't really talk to people i didn't really know how to communicate with people so yeah, I had the branding, I had the marketing, but it it would all fizzle out if I talked to anyone. I'm not just talking about females, I'm talking about 
just interacting with people because I didn't really know how to interact with people. So you have to also work on these skills. You got to understand that when you get jacked, when you get physically fit, it's going to even help you get better at speaking. How is it going to help you? Because people are going to automatically start talking to you. I know because it happened to me. Everything I say is from experience. It's literally happened to me. I was horrible at talking. I didn't know how to communicate. But once I got jacked, in shape, physically fit, you can clearly see that I'm jacked. You can clearly see the clothes fit on me, hug my muscles, clearly see that I'm built. People will start asking me what I do. Hey, how do you train? Hey, what's this? What's that? Hey, I like the way that clothes fit on you. Girls will compliment you. To, like, it's dang near harassment. Like, I've been <laughs> by some people. As a matter of fact, my coworkers will tell me all the time, dude, you get sexually harassed like every day. I don't think I, you know, I don't, I'm not like, oh my God, I'm sexually harassed. But yeah, some, some of them are, will go crazy. They'll literally jump out the window. I've been literally complimented and damn near flirted with in front of their husbands. They will literally compliment you and do all these things in front of their husbands. They don't care. They don't care. At least some of them don't. And I saw the guy's look on his face. He was like, damn. Like, and I didn't, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to do anything. It's just, I can't control what she, that person did. You know what I mean? And this happened to me on multiple occasions. Um, but enough about that. You have to understand as well that no one is in shape. Look around. Stop letting social media confuse you. Thinking that there's a lot of people that are physically fit that are, they're, there's not. I feel like now a lot of people have started definitely because of social media, because of these things. But you have to look outside. Go outside. Go to your Walmart. Go to anywhere. You can literally count on your hands how many people are in shape. The majority of people aren't. You go to any grocery store, any Walmart, any Target, and anything, anywhere, majority of the people in there aren't in shape. So what do you think getting in shape is going to do? Make you stand out. You automatically stand out. Automatically. And I'm talking about when you when you can clearly see that the clothes fit on you, snug. You can clearly see the veins, your vascular. You can clearly see the shoulders, the chest a little bit. You're going to stand out a lot because the rest of the playing field are all either skinny twigs or for the most part overweight and obese so by you standing out what do you think that's going to happen what do you think is going to happen women are going to see you as a rarity they're going to see you as okay this guy clearly there's some, what's up with this guy hell even guys are going to look at you like they're going to try to be part of the team they're going to be hey what's up with him like he you know what i mean like do I even have to keep going on? There's zero cons. That's the thing. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are so, you don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to do this? Not just for women. I don't make these videos to, I'm not a dating coach. I'm not, I'm just telling you my experience with this and what I've seen and what I've actually experienced. And these are every everything I've said in this video is what I've experienced. It, and it and it's and it's the truth. It's the truth. Look at any other video. Why do you think women are so attracted to the the jock or the um the guy in athletics? Because man, it, it he's not a loser. <laughs> it's really as simple as that. It's really as simple as that. But back to what I was saying, a lot of you guys are like Oh well, I don't I can't afford getting in shape. I can't afford the food. I can't afford eating. I can't. Dude, you don't even need a gym to start working out. You can work out anywhere outside the park, your house. It, it, you don't even need a gym to work out. And as far as food, okay, you don't have to buy everything organic and everything whatever if you can't afford to. 
but you can definitely change your eating habits. You can definitely stop eating that donut. You can definitely stop eating McDonald's every day. You can definitely stop eating pizza every weekend, drinking soda, beer, alcohol. You can definitely stop that or change that. So enough with these excuses about, oh, well, I can't. Uh, the, oh, well, I don't. You're shooting yourself in the foot and then wondering why no opportunities, no relationships, no women, no nothing comes to you because you you can't even get yourself right. You don't even have enough faith to get yourself right. And now all of a sudden you want people to have faith in you for what? Because what you're displaying isn't going to get anyone to have trust in you. Anyone, any, No one's going to want to interact with you. You can be the best guy ever. But again, your branding and marketing is horrible. People always talk about, oh, it's not looks, so it's not that. Which is, it isn't everything. That's the thing. If you even look at my channel, a lot of the times I talk about your mental and having faith in God and all these things. Because that's a huge part of it. That's a big, big part of it. But another big part is obviously your branding. Why do you think you get so dressed up when you go to an interview? People will sit here and tell me that, oh, well, it's not about, it. okay. So then why in an interview, why do you go looking your best? Why? Why do you go looking your best, bro? It's because you're trying to show that you're someone responsible, trying to show that yourself in the best light. So if you do all these things for an interview, securing a job, an opportunity, why don't you think that applies to everything else? Women, guy, relationships with friends, important people, getting more opportunities. You, the opportunity you're getting is the job. When you go to the interview, the opportunity you're presented with is maybe I'll secure this job based off how I look, how I carry myself, you know, and obviously a uh, resume. I've gotten my jobs that I've gotten wasn't based off of my resume it was just based off of me it was based off how i carried myself how i looked and my physique and how you know how i carried myself charisma confidence obviously how i spoke and how i looked that's how i got my jobs if you look at my resume i have the worst resume on the planet the absolute worst the worst it's not I'm going to end this video off. You got to get in shape, bro. You got to get in shape. It's zero cons. The biggest return on investment you'll ever do. For free. <laughs> That's the crazy part. For free. No cost. But obviously, if you want something to get you there faster, something to get your looks, physique, and mindset dialed in quick, just watch the video, bro. Watch my video. I have a bunch of videos on my channel. Book a call with me if you're serious. Do not book a call with me if you're not. I don't want people in there that... No, I want someone who's ready to go, who's tired, and just wants to get it done. And you don't even have to do that. There's millions of free videos. Anyways, I'm going to end the video off here. But yeah, man. Basically, summarize. Women are just as thirsty as guys. They clearly want someone who can lead someone who can actually be masculine someone who can look masculine someone who can protect them and three is someone who's gonna i just summed it up that's basically what it is it, it it's not rocket science